Uh, we're going, lads. We're waiting for my next job. My first job of the day, to be fair. Now they're all gone. It's, it's, there's no one coming in. There's no one coming in because of the coronavirus. There's no one coming in to actually shopping, getting home. So the taxes is dead. It's dead. Yes. You, you can do two or three jobs a day in total. The virus being around, a lot of places aren't reopening at all. So you find your the little bit of work you did have when before the virus hit with, is now gone even less when everything does get back to the new normal. I think car like that. We'd like, we'd like to think that everything will go back to five, ten years ago when the taxis were making a kind of living, they were making a decent living, but over the years it's just dwindled right down. The taxi ran down in time off, they closed that down. It was, a, a, it was quite a long rank and then the social distancing. Even though it's went to a meter now, we've turned around and says we still need some of the taxi rank there, some of the taxi rank down the bottom, so where you could fit 20, 25 cars in, all right, you can now fit half of that in, 10, maybe it's 11 cars in the one area. It's a lush job to be in, but it's just the overheads, yeah, every week your insurance, your diesel, your, your tax, your, your car payments, your rent at the house, your council tax, everything, you know, the amount of money you've got to make, you're just not getting it in. Without the government support, I'll be honest with you, I'd have been, I'd have been screwed already. I mean, like I'm completely not. Um, yeah. It's it's hard. It's really really hard. So why it's it's going to be a tough a tough few months ahead. And like you say, November comes. It's it is. It's going to be everything stops then. Everything stops. You may not make anything, but you have a good laugh when you come doing it, you know. Um, but laughing doesn't make you money, sort of thing, unless you're a comedian, I suppose. Five years, five years coming up, um, and it's it's uh, it's been a fun five years until this happened. It's been a fun. Um, you were thinking everything was gonna just open the doors, every back in, everybody was worried about the track and trace and having to give you names and take temperatures and do you have to wear a mask and what do you, what do you have to do? You know, I, um, so much uncertainty around it, it was. Now it's nice to see the the little places mm -hmm. encouraging people to come back out when I was in my normal 9 to 5 it, you were asking for time off on this day or that day because I had the kids or I had, to, I, had, I had them after school and it was it was just being a nightmare I just thought it's easier just to find a job that that suits around that kind of living so I get your regulars all the time come in and uh, I can't even give you little bits and bobs and then the odd treat you know they give you a pack of mints or something <laughs> it's just like it makes it Makes it worth it. You get that one-on-one -on -one with them. You get the you get the connection with them one-on-one. -on -one where like they tell you your things. You become a bit like a Jeremy Kyle, to be fair. They tell you your problems and that, and then you get another kids, their dogs' names, their animals, and everything. 